Well, good morning, folks. Um, I assume you remember that Toyo that I've got. Um, well, today we need to get fuel for it. So I am here at Fisher's Fuel in Big Lake, Alaska, and uh, we're gonna go through the process. Not only that, but I'm gonna ride along with the driver. Stay tuned. Come join us out here. Good morning. How, How are you? Today? I'm doing good. Doing good. Good. What can I do for you? I live in Willow and I've got a 300 gallon tank and I need fuel. Can sure. You Absolutely. When would you need that delivered? Today, if we could. Oh, sure. What's the name? Adam Jenkins. So, when do you think that'll be coming out? Uh, we could probably get you early morning okay. today. 300 gallons at you 100. Hit yeah it's probably gonna take 150. okay that'll be our price break at 150 so it'll be 310 a gallon okay perfect all right do you awesome. need a phone call before we get there uh no the wife will be home so we're good okay great we'll all right see you soon. awesome thanks Thank so much you. have a great day okay well here we are um i'm actually in a fuel truck with fisher's fuel and this is simeon Okay, perfect. He's going to be driving today, and uh, it's been snowing quite a bit. I'm honestly a little bit nervous, but we're going to try out some new tools today, too. So uh, let's get on the road. So here's the truck that we're driving today. We're gonna do several fuel deliveries, um, but before we get on the road, we need to fill up the truck with fuel and the tanks so we've got enough to do the day. All right, let's do it. Right now, we're just putting some fuel on the truck, and uh, once we got that, we'll be ready to go.
one smooth delivery. Everything's plowed, everything's clean. It's easy to drag the hose. There's nothing in my way. It goes pretty quick. But for every house that I get to, where I gotta trudge through the snow, force the hose through the snow, around trees, over frozen in bicycles, trash cans, I'm losing five, 10 minutes with all that stuff. And by the end of the day, when I'm doing 20 to 30 deliveries, that's two to three people that may not get fueled that day. Right. So every little thing makes a huge difference on time. And it's all about time when it's on oh, the right. We've only got so much time in a day to get stuff done. So the easier it is for me to do my job and to get to the tank, the more people I can get to in one day and get them fueled. Yeah, yeah that absolutely makes sense. delivery and we can't make it up this hill so what do we do I'm gonna try her one more time here
We are going to try something new here, something we've never tried. Auto socks. Okay, back in Wisconsin, milk truck haulers use these all the time. Um, but here, you typically chain up, which takes about 45 minutes. So we're gonna try this and see if we can then make it up the hill. Um, if we can, it saved the drivers hours per day. So let's get to it. I'm not sure if it's just going to shove it or what. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So to make this easier, we drove up the inside duel up on a block to get the outside tire off the snow. Now we'll put this on, see how it works. Hopefully it fits. Yeah. It already looks better. Biggest one they had for 22.5. Oh, perfect. Look at that. Nice. Well, here's to hoping this works. Putting the chains on doesn't sound like so much fun. I've never done it on a track this size, so. Um, we're definitely trying to avoid that. We don't know if how they'll work on the snow versus ice. Um, we'll find out today. I can assure you if this works, this is way easier than chain. Ease off the block, I'll grab that and then to go slow and not not try to spin with it come on come on oh. what? no no it, it's working yeah it's I don't think it, I can see it scooting out Okay. See, they're generally meant more for just ice 
but we got a bunch of snow here this morning, so. Oh, look at him go. Come on, come on. Come on. Yes. Haha, <laughs> we made it. That's awesome. We should be able to just slip them down yeah, and, and then just, just drive off them. Okay. okay. We want to do a test here to make sure, you know, was it the socks or, you know, will it do the same thing with just tires? Now he's going to try the hill without any socks on there. Same speed, same everything. See what he does. Well, there you have it, folks. The truck socks work. They made it so he could get up that hill that otherwise he wouldn't have been able to. They're about 200 bucks, give or take. And they took about 10 minutes to put on versus 45. So, nice. What do you think, success? That was success. Well, there you have it, truck socks, they work. Hello YouTube from Alaska Cut the Cord. Um, I want to give you our big shout out and thanks to Fisher's Fuel for making this happen today. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun for me. It was educational, a little bit scary, and uh, the scenery obviously was beautiful. You saw that for yourself. Um, we got to try out the truck socks, got to see what it's like to get stuck, and deliver fuel for a day. So, um, Comments, questions, throw them down there at the bottom. And as always, from Alaska Cut the Cord, love you, bye.